Virgo placements. Let's do you a reading. Let's see, Virgo. Oh, okay. Let's start then. Someone here is dropping you. Are they? Wait, hold, hold on, hang on. Let me see the rest. But this is giving, it feels like they're not interested anymore. <laughs> okay. They're not interested anymore, but they want things to go further with you. So, for example, if this connection started on physical attraction, it's becoming more. So they're not really dropping you. They're more like, I want more. Hmm. I don't know. This feels a little... A confession. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is a person that is going to be like Virgo. I don't want to fuck around anymore. And then you're like, oh, so you want to, you want to, you know, not talk to me anymore? They're like, no, no, the opposite. I want us to be exclusive. And you're like, oh my God. So they're dropping the sexual, casual situationship that they have with you. And they want something more stable, more exclusive, even public. So they want to make things official between the two of you. And I see a confession of some kind, meaning that they will start this conversation. They will confront you with this. They might be like, hey, can we talk? You know, sounds a bit serious. And you're like, what is that about? Or, hey, can we meet to talk? And it can be scary at the beginning because it's the same way that I felt it. It's like, uh, what's going to happen here? But it's not as bad as I thought. Or it's not as bad as you will think. Uh, this person is wanting to make things more, exclu more exclusive. Okay. So they want to... Um, I feel like they want to go public with this connection. Meaning they want to tell their friends, their family your friends and your family, they want, they want the connection to be um, public. They want the connection to be public. Yeah, they're going to tell you that I want more. I see us being together. I see us as a couple. I see a future for us. Okay. This person wants to invest in you. And they want everyone and everyone and everybody to know about it. Uh, so if this was a secret, if this was like casual thing, if it was like a situation ship, this person is like, no, I don't want that anymore. I want more. I want more. They see you as someone that they want to spend the rest of their life with, which is quite serious. And it, and, and it feels like a jump. Maybe this person didn't think of you like that before, but now they do. Now they do. So it's almost like something has changed in the energy that made this person want more. This could be like friendship as well. So friendship to lovers. They see you differently. Virgo, they see you differently now. They see you differently. There is something about you that has changed or maybe you are giving them different energy or maybe, you know, you know, when you spend so much time with someone, you start to get attached to them. Uh, you start to fall in love with them. That's the energy we have here. This person is falling in love with you. And I feel like they're not there yet. They're not like, I am in love with you. It's more like, I want to I want to see where this goes. I want to make this official. I want to make it public. Let's go further. Yeah, wow. Three of cups under each other. 
you might, you too might want the same thing. I feel like this, poten uh, this, uh, this connection has potential to be successful in the future. I will look into your feelings in a bit, but it feels like you two are compatible. You have the same interests, you get along, you have fun a lot, or you have fun together. You know, you, you do fun things together. Or uh, it's like you have like meaningful conversations and you have fun. You know? So this person is like, well, let's take it further. What's stopping us from taking this further? So I see a conversation here where this person will initiate to let you know that, listen, I'm, I'm, you know, I, we have a lot of fun. So let's let's make this official. Let's let's be girlfriend boyfriend or let's be more. Okay. It's like they wanted to have that conversation with you for a while. So by the time this person comes to you and says, let's be together or let's make it official, they would have wanted to do that earlier. So I do see that by the time they actually talk to you, it's, it's like them reaching a point where it's like, ah, oh, I have to do it now. Because they wanted to do it before, but they stopped themselves for whatever reason. But now they're like, okay, I, I can't hold on anymore, or I can't hold it in anymore. I want more. So there is a lot of back and forth within themselves about when is the right time to talk to you about this. Because they wanna they don't wanna they don't wanna do this and then it backfires. You know what I mean? It's like they're worried about it being like misunderstood or you might not feel like you're in the mood to talk. So they want to they want to choose the right time to do this. And they're kind of like keeping an eye on the right time for them to start this conversation. Um, yeah, let me see how you feel. Let me see how you feel. How does Virgo feel about this person? You like them. You like each other. You like each other. You see you see the beauty in each other. You see uh, the benefit to being together. You see, like, there's a lot of mutual energy here. So, like, get a fucking room already. <laughs> I mean, maybe you've already been intimate. But, uh, like, the intimacy that I talk about is the emotional one. Is the awareness that comes with it as well. So... You both like each other. Just go be together, right? I do feel like you are in the energy of, you know, we're still getting to know each other. We're, we're having fun getting to know each other. So you're not rushing here. I feel like your energy is more like, let's see where it goes. Let's not rush things. Let's not label things. I feel like they will be the one that uh, puts movement within the connection rather than you. I feel like you will be happy to hear from this person saying, let's move it to the next level. You know, like, I feel like you will not oppose that idea um, because you like each other. You love spending time together. You have a lot of fun together. You intellectually get along as well. So when you have conversations, it just carries itself, you know? There's back and forth, you talk, you know, there is like, there is no awkwardness. There is flow between the two of you. So, Virgo, this person is coming to pop in the question. And I feel like they've been wanting to do that for a while. By the time they come to you, they, you know, they've already reached their level. Of, they're like, okay, fine, I'm, I'm going to do it now. You know, they're kind of going to, they're kind of, they're kind of uh, going to take a risk on when they're going to pop this question or have this conversation with you. But that's what I see. This person want, to, want things to get exclusive with you. Uh, they want to be in a relationship with you, a loving, caring relationship with you. Uh, whatever connection you have with them, it doesn't feel like it's... 
I mean, even if you have a situation with a situationship with this person, it doesn't feel like it's public. So whatever condition you are in with this person, it's like they want to open it up. They want to allow it to bloom. They want to remove the restrictions on it so that you become a couple, like a normal, healthy couple, not secretive or not um, confusing. You know, they want to put things on the table with you and they want you to do the same. And I feel like you will, you know, I feel like you will from the way you are showing up with your feelings or with what you think of this person. I feel like you will be open to go with this. Bye -bye. This is this is like a very straightforward. Um, yeah, you know, straightforward uh, kind of level up in the connection that you have with this person and i see it being su successful i see potential in this okay all righty let's pull you another question another question <laughs> that's interesting let's pull you another uh message that was weird let's pull you another question maybe you have a question that needs answer. I don't know. Let's see. <sighs> Let's see, Virgo. <sighs> Someone here feels abandoned. They feel taken advantage of. They're hiding this feeling. They're keeping it to themselves, meaning they're not telling you that they feel this way. They're kind of keeping their head down for whatever reason. And focusing on themselves and not trying to stir shit up. So this is a person that doesn't feel appreciated, but instead of uh, going and talking to you, they're like pulling away instead, uh, focusing on uh, their things or life in general. So I'm not sure if you are in a relationship with this person or not, um, but this is showing me that this person is feeling neglected or unappreciated and they're focusing on themselves. They're like, mm, whatever. You know, even though it bugs them, they're like, whatever. I'm going to focus on my life, focus on my career, focus on my whatever that's happening in their life. Whatever their focus is in their life. Instead of being bothered by feeling neglected. They are way hurt. They are way more hurt than they show. Meaning it bothers them way more than it shows. Maybe you are sensing that this person is giving you a little bit of attitude or they're being moody with you. You have no fucking clue how this person, how much of this person is hurt. They feel neglected. They feel like there is, there is no appreciation here for them. They want to work on this connection with you, and they want to heal things with you, but at the same time, they feel like you're not giving enough energy to them, therefore they're pulling away. So... Let's see where this goes in the extended. Uh, Virgo extended reading will be in the description box. I'll see you there.